right so guys uh, we are now going to talk about uh, an analogy that is usually used to explain gans right so uh, suppose so what is a gan so gan is a generative adversarial network and let's say we are creating a gan to generate new kind of images so we are going to build a gan that generates new kind of images and so for that we would have uh, two two neural networks in every GAN there would be two networks one network is called a generator we have a generator network and one network is called a discriminator we have a discriminator right? okay so I have two images right? so let's say uh, there is a thief right and the goal of the okay so let's say not exactly thief this is a counterfeiter which creates fake currency there is a person in the town who is going to create fake fake notes for you right so there are some fake notes in the market which are created by this thief and let's say there are some real notes let's say they have a symbol r here they have a real so you have real currency in the market and there is a counterfeiter and this guy is a counterfeiter and he is going to create some fake currency right and there is also police the police knows how to discriminate between the real currency and the fake currency we have police who knows how to discriminate between a real currency and the fake currency this currency goes to police this fake currency also goes to police and depending upon the input right police will predict 1 if the currency is real and they will predict 0 if the currency is fake so what is going to happen and the goal of the counterfeiter is to make currency okay, so the goal of this this part is now called discriminator because it discriminates between two types of currencies real or the fake currency and you have counterfeiter and this is basically a generator so the goal of the generator is to make fake currency that looks like a real currency right for example that uh, this guy generated some currency that was actually a fake currency but it wanted police should not be able to distinguish that it is fake what this want is that the actual label for the fake currency should be one the ground truth right so uh, generator is wanting that this ground truth should be the fake should look like real would look initially let's say police is expert at detecting currencies and once they detect a currency that it is fake this sends a feedback this sends a feedback to the counterfeiter that your fake currency has been detected make sure that you make necessary changes to the images or to the notes that you have made maybe you put a R here okay so that it looks like a real currency right so this feedback and right? so this feedback goes by the back propagation algorithm. we are going to have two neural networks one is going to be generator and another is going to be discriminator this back propagation will give some feedback to the generator that okay make some better currency right okay let's say it puts a r here and now police next time generator sends this new currency to the police right and now maybe it resembles more to the real currency and police has tough time in finding out if it is real or fake let's say police says i am let's say 60 percent confident it is fake and 40 percent confident that it is real right so again it it sends some feedback to the police and to the discriminator generator that he can do better right he can uh, fool police in a 
better manner right so he again makes some changes to the weights of the network and as a result you get some new images and again police find it hard to detect if it is a fake currency or a real currency right so during this process both of these guys get trained right so generator is getting trained due to the feedback coming from this way that your fake currency has been detected so generator is getting trained it produces better and better results better and better fake notes okay and since uh, discriminator is getting uh, real notes from the market and they are also getting fake notes which are getting better right so as a uh, during this process this network also learns how to make better distinction between real notes and the fake notes right? after certain epochs after a uh, few training steps both of them become intelligent enough so that uh, discriminator is also like uh, very confident about uh, how to uh, distinguish real notes from fake notes it it becomes expert at its job and this counterfeiter also becomes an expert how to create fake notes that look like real right this is an intuitive explanation what a gan is going to do right we are going to have two components one is your generator network again it's going to be a neural network and we are going to have a discriminator which is again going to model p of y given x and this is going to model p of x and y we are going to have a discriminator we are going to have a generator the job of the generator is to create fake notes that look like real notes the job of the discriminator is to identify real notes from fake notes right so both of them will become experts after certain epochs of training and once we have done this we can use this generator network to create new data or to create new images that look like real images right so this is what gans is going to do in the next part i will explain you the architecture for the generator part and the discriminator part see you guys in the next video